You say all the right things when I'm hurting. You always pick me up when I am down. It's like you have a spark that leaves me burning. You just have your ways to get me high. You make all my dreams come true. It feels right when I'm around you. We could break up and then make up. I always come back to you. You move me in a way never thought anyone could. You get me high. You're my drug when I am feeling blue. Yeah, it's all you. Cause you're the Good morning, good morning. What is today? It is Tuesday. No school today because it's election day. So, yeah, Winston's home. <laughs> um, fed him breakfast and now he's out playing with the neighbor kids. He didn't even want to eat breakfast because he was ready to rock and roll. But, um, I don't really, I want to can some more beans. Um, dishes, stuff like that. If I have time, I also want to can, try to can some hamburger meat, some ground beef. Um, Bethany over at Simply Bethany was like, girl, you got to do that. So, um, definitely going to try to can some um, ground beef. I want to do chicken too, but I'm just waiting a little bit because y'all know I'm, that's a little weirder for me, chicken. Um, like I know it's normal, but I just have to get it through my head that it's okay. <laughs> But I do want to do some chicken as well. Um, but that's just one of those things too that I can't just do everything all in one day. So I'm definitely gonna do beans. And then if we have time, we'll do some ground beef. Um, and then just my normal cleaning everyday life. So that's it. <laughs> to get some chicken cooked. I need some for my recipe tonight for supper. And then I thought I would just go ahead and do the rest and then I already have cooked shredded chicken in the freezer. So I'm just gonna add in a whole bottle of Italian dressing. let that cook up. I'm not going to add any water or anything in there because it, they're frozen so they'll make their own, you know, broth once they start defrosting, but I'm just going to let these cook. I'll probably move this over to the table and plug it in. That way I can do my pressure cannon right here. Your eyes, your scent. 
So look what's gone. That terrible couch. <laughs> to say I'm excited is an understatement. I am so excited. Um, Grover hasn't bought himself a new couch yet, but he did get rid of his old couch. We had um, a free dump day, and so um, he took it on that free dump day. Um, I'm so excited. <laughs> so now I don't have to pull the couch out every single time and sweep up a whole pile of fake leather. <laughs> I'm so happy. So we'll see what he gets. Um, I'm sure he'll have something before Thanksgiving. That way everybody can, you know, sit down. Because, I mean, we have we have this table up here, which I need to dust. Goodness, look at that. Um, we have the table up here. It was downstairs, but then we brought it up here because, you know, on Sundays I cook sometimes. So we needed more seating. So we just left it up here. And that way we can just pull it out and put it in the center. And then, you know, people can sit and eat. So we just decided to leave it. Um, but of course, you know, we want a couch instead of having to sit on chairs. And then for Christmas as well, the tree will go right here. I'm so excited to decorate. I didn't get to decorate last year because we were closing on the house um, and moving. So I wasn't able to decorate. So this year we get to decorate and we have to have, we get to have a Christmas morning all together. I'm excited. <laughs> so after Thanksgiving is when I decorate, but so I'll have to figure out Depending on what size couch he gets, and then, you know, I may just move that table over here. <clears throat> Which, like I said, I know it's weird having a table right there, but his office is what will be the dining room once we buy this house. Um, so that's how we'll have extra seating, you know, and this will just go back to being a regular living room, not with a table in it. <laughs> but this works for now. Y'all know we've been doing this. We've just doing with what works for us right now, you know, with us living with with him and everything and <clears throat> so yeah that's that's what I'm excited about no 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 more couch so happy <laughs> and I put this rocker here and I like sitting by it and rocking and um, raising the windows and listening outside so I'll have to figure out something I know <clears throat> I may just have to move the, the table over here while the tree because I like putting the tree beside the fireplace you know, and having everything <clears throat> together. And of course me decorating this year is not gonna be like I would if he wasn't here, you know? It's not gonna be all out, you know, my normal. So it'll just be still decent amount of Christmas put up, um, but it's not gonna be like Christmas threw up in the house like it would if he wasn't here. <laughs> I, 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 you know, it'll go all out. So yeah, and then that's all, this is all I put up for fall in here, so. And this sign I just got, I got it at um, Rural King and all of their fall stuff is 50% off. So I got that sign for $10. And then I also got one outside for $10. And I thought that was a really good deal. I put it in here for now because it's black and white so it fits better. But eventually our plan is to paint this black and then put uh, brick on the stone or the tiles and then paint it black as well. So all of this will be black. So I might, I'll change my sign because I don't want black on black. But, or I mean, or it might look okay. I don't know yet, we'll see. But that's the plan once we buy the house and renovate, this is all gonna be black. I'm, I'm excited about it. So, um, but I put that there for now for a little decoration with my little candy corns. <laughs> So it'll just be little, you know, little stuff for Christmas. I won't go crazy and everything. Um, hopefully next year is when, is when I'll get to go crazy. But here's the sign that I, the other sign I bought, I'll show y'all. Max's favorite spot. Um, here's the other sign that I got for $10. I thought that was super cute. So, um, yeah, I just set it out here. I had just my black welcome sign that I had made. So I took it back down to the basement and got this one. So for $10, I thought that was a really good deal. So, I mean, you can't even get that at Hobby Lobby, you know, and buying the supplies now to make something like that, you know, so I was excited. Y'all know I love me some good deals. But 
let's head in here and do the dishes and wash some jars.
my shark vacuum dad, so I had to plug it in. <laughs> so we'll finish vacuuming in a second. But I got some happy mail in. I'm so excited. Um, so I have recently found um, another YouTuber mama. Um, I'd mentioned her a second ago about recommending me pressure canning ground beef. So Bethany over at Simply Bethany, I'll have her channel link down below, y'all. She is so sweet. I uh, just recently met her um, through YouTube, and um, it's just, you know, it's great finding, you know, fellow YouTube mamas. So she also makes the cutest shirts. So I will have her Facebook um, page down below, which y'all already know I'm a sucker for t-shirts. So I went ahead and ordered some. So I got two for myself and one for my niece. Um, here is one of them. Mama, mama, mama. I thought that was so cute. I loved the different colors and then the, um, that cheetah, so cute. So I'll have her Facebook page down below. Y'all go over and give her some love if you love shirts as much as I do. And then this is the one for my niece. It says, my favorite color is Christmas lights. Isn't that so cute? My niece loves Christmas, so that is adorable. And then she, um, I asked her if she could do some sort of like a pumpkin pattern because um, I wanted it to wear, you know, with, with it still being fall. But I've got this like black pullover thingy that I needed something to wear with it. So she came through y'all. I, one, I love the color of this shirt The because I told her to pick whatever color. The color of this shirt is so cute. And then look at the pumpkins. Is the pumpkins not freaking adorable? I love it. So, um, I'm so excited. I'm gonna get them in the wash and then um, I'll definitely be wearing um, them soon. I'm so excited. So, like I said, I'll have her YouTube channel link down below and I will also have her Facebook page so y'all can go give her some support regardless if it's you know her small business of her shirts or her channel. She is so sweet. She is a mama to two precious little kiddos. So y'all go over and give her some love. But it is getting close to lunchtime. So I'm trying to figure out what we're gonna do for lunch. I'm gonna let my vacuum charge up so I can finish um, vacuuming the floors. Pressure canner's doing its thing. It has been a little bit since y'all seen um, me last. I've been on the phone with Luke. So I'm gonna make some lunch. I've got one of these pizza crust in there. So I'm just gonna make pizza. We love pizza, so it'll work out. <laughs> I also had some of this sauce already in the fridge as well. And then black olives were already in the fridge. And then of course cheese, so that makes it easy. I might get out some pepperonis for half of it. I have some in the well, I don't know if I have any in the fridge or not. I'll have to look. But I have put up, I dehydrated some spinach. And so I'm going to grind it up and add it into the sauce. Um, you know, y'all know I like spinach. I mean, I would be fine with it on top, but to kind of sneak it in. Um, so I thought that would be a good way. You always want, you know, to cook and use what you put up. So, um, someone had asked recently like what do you would you do with the dehydrated stuff for the spinach you can add it into smoothies um you know you can add it into soups and stews and um just add it in how you would your other recipes it just wouldn't be like fresh like a salad or something like that you know but it will it will rehydrate when you add it to things so i'm gonna grind it up and make like a powder and then we'll, I'll add, sprinkle some in on the tomato sauce. So, and that'll give it some extra flavor too and some yumminess. But um, this is already went off a while ago. I just unplug it, letting it completely cool down, and then we'll open it up and let them, um, you know, finish sealing or whatever the case is. But let's make some lunch.
They are all sealed. Yay. So I'll just leave them on the counter for 24 hours when I'm completely cool. And then I'll take the rings off and I will wash them and then label them. Okay, switching over the laundry. This one's back there coloring. It's like two o'clock. I don't think I'm gonna do the ground beef today, just because by the time I, you know, do that process and everything and then it it'll be close to supper time when i need to have the kitchen counter to cook so <laughs> i don't think i'm gonna do that today i'll do it tomorrow while he's at school and i'll start it early in the morning that way um, um you know you can do it while he's at school and that way it's done before lunch but the chicken's still cooking for tonight. The beans are still boiling, but they're, um, you know, they're all sealed, so that's good. But I think that's it for today, guys. <laughs> I'm just gonna, we're just gonna chill out the rest of the day till supper time. Of course, y'all will eat, see what we eat tonight on Sunday's What's for Dinner video, so. Stay tuned for that, but um, that's it for today. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed hanging out with us today, seeing part of our everyday life, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye. You sneaking? <laughs>